software or firmware updates by the companies released to address their ongoing issues, bugs, crashes, or to add more features to their program or their devices, or to improve the sustainability of the program entirely are super essential to install. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can check for a possible update available for your Poly product and how you can successfully install it. Here I have this Poly Voyager Focus UC, a wireless Bluetooth headset, which is mostly used by the professionals. If you are a user who is using VOIP, call karte hai, you know, voice over IP address, this is the headphone which can be practical and impactful. Ho sakta hai. Most of us, when we do the voice over IP calls, uh, we use the wired headset and we are limited within the range of maybe 6 feet or 8 feet or 10 feet while we are talking to a client or we are having some interview or something, whatever it is. But when you have a wireless Bluetooth headset like this, it gives you uh, the freedom to walk around maybe within the 50 meter radius or 30 meter radius and you can enjoy yourself the call whatever you want without any distortion without any uh, static so this headset i've been using already for about maybe three years or more and i have been very satisfied with the overall performance though i invested good amount of money on this headset but I have been very happy, very satisfied with the performance. So there are minor bugs in this headset, which I explained in my earlier videos about this headset. So you can go ahead and find those videos. Uh, the link would be in the description. Anyways, coming back to the topic. If you use any poly ka product, use karte hai, agar aap bhi use karte hai, like Voyager Free 60 series, uh, you know, earbuds, Voyager Focus 2, Poly Studio 5, you know, the camera or Studio P15, Studio P21, Poly Sync 20, there's a huge list, you know, Blackwire 32 series, uh, wired headset, yeah, for Blackwire 33 series, 5200 series, in Messi Kuch Bhi Aap Use Karte, there's a huge list of these products from Poly. In Sabhi products ki performance improvement ko lekar ya bug fixes ko lekar ya koi feature addition ko lekar agar koi update available hai to you should be able to check that out through this application which is poly lens once again you can download it from the poly website in fact i'll put the link in the description jahan se aap directly find out kar sakte hain is application ko jaisa ki mere product ke liye ek update already available hai which i'm going to install right now and is video mein main aapko quick demonstrate karke dikhane wala hu kaise aap apne poly product ko update kar sakte hain without wasting too much time so mere paas यहां पर MacBook Pro जिसके साथ मैं primarily इस device को use करता हूं और इसी के जरिए मैं इसे update करने वाला हूं तो सबसे पहले मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगा इस तरह के headset को uh, wireless बनाने के लिए especially with your laptop या desktop PC आपको इस तरह का एक uh, Bluetooth wireless receiver milta hai jisse aap connect karte hain apni device ke sath ab macbook pros mein aapko pata hai usb type a port to aata nahi hai is usb type a receiver ko macbook pro ke sath compatible banane ke liye i use this tiny apple product and this is uh, type c to type a converter so first i need to simply go ahead and connect this usb receiver to this connector अब इसे आपको कनेक्ट करना होगा अपने लैपटॉप के साथ सो आई एम कनेक्टिंग इट विद माय मैकबुक प्रो और कनेक्ट करने के बाद अगर आपका हेडसेट ऑन है तो इस रिसीवर पर एक छोटी सी लाइट है जो आपको ऑन होती हुई नजर आएगी लाइक यू कैन सी इट नाउ सो हेडसेट ऑन है और ये कनेक्ट हो चुका है ऑलरेडी इस लैपटॉप के साथ नाउ ऑल आई हैव टू डू इज ओपन पॉली लेंस एप्लीकेशन एन एप्लीकेशन को ओपन करने के तुरंत बाद यू वुड ऑलरेडी सी द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द अपडेट जैसा कि the receiver I use with this headset is BT700. There is update in both the products ke liye available hai, receiver ke liye bhi aur headset. The receiver already is laptop ke physically connected, so there is no issue karne mein koi issue hona All I have to do is click on update now. I will click on OK and it will go through the software update process. Now the update process is going on this receiver. Par hai. So it is going to take its time to complete this update process. इस तरह की डिवाइस के साथ आपको एक ए USB केबल भी मिलती है USB टाइप A2 मिनी USB पोर्ट और अगर आपको अपना हेडसेट जो मेन आपका डिवाइस है उसे अपडेट करना है तो उसे आपको फिजिकली कनेक्ट करना पड़ेगा आपकी मेन डिवाइस के साथ लैपटॉप या पीसी डजंट मैटर और ये भी USB टाइप A है तो दिस इज पेनफुल बिकॉज़ MacBook Pro और MacBook Air जो अभी ऑनगोइंग जनरेशन वाले जितने भी डिवाइसेस हैं उनमें आपको USB टाइप A तो मिलता ही नहीं है या तो आपके पास दूसरा कनेक्टर होना चाहिए या फिर कोई आपके पास एक्सटेंशन बोर्ड होना चाहिए और मे बी अ टॉकिंग स्टेशन सम सॉर्ट ऑफ डिवाइस लाइक दैट यू विल नीड इन ऑर्डर टू कनेक्ट मल्टीपल USB टाइप A डिवाइसेस टू योर 
Mac. By the way, to resolve my port related situation with MacBook Pro, I also use this Oreco 14 and 1 Thunderbolt docking station. It has got 14 ports on it, and this resolves my port related issues, whether it's about HDMI port or it is about USB Type A port or anything like that. If you're looking for any information about this docking station, there is a dedicated video I made a long time back. I'll put the link in the description below. Also, I can put the purchase link in the description below if you want to check it out. Let's get back to the business. All right, so the update on the Bluetooth receiver has completed and I have a button now here to click done and I'm done here. You know what surprising part is? This update ke dauran, I did not have to connect the headset physically to the to MacBook Pro in order to update both of them. Actually, by connecting only the Bluetooth receiver and updating it simultaneously updated both the products. So I did not have to connect them both together. So it's good to know that headset just updated without even connecting it physically separately to the laptop and both the devices are up to date. So this is pretty much it in this video. If you have found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button. For quick unboxing tech tips related videos, you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links would be in the description below. If you have not subscribed Unbox with Katie yet, please do it now. It will not cost you anything and I promise not to disappoint you with forthcoming content on Unbox with Katie. Anyways, you are watching Unbox with Katie with Katie Sharma for unbiased reviews and the unboxing experience. Signing off for now, you take care of yourself and I will see you soon.